welcome to my channel. So I was in the midst of starting to get my makeup on and I wasn't going to record because I usually do sort of a, a little, um, you know, before and after so you can see if you like the look and see if you want to stick around. But I wasn't intending on recording and I already have my foundation and my concealer on and that's it so far. But I decided to turn on and record because I wanted to share with you um, I'm doing this little combination of products at this point that I am really enjoying and I'm finding myself doing it almost every single day. So I wanted to, to share that with you. These are not new products. They're not new products to me either. I mean, I've had these for a while. One product, however, um, I used a couple times and thought I didn't like it. And so therefore I have not used it. It's brand new and I hate that. So I grabbed it one day and thought, okay, I'm, I'm gonna revisit this, maybe apply it a little differently and see if I can you know, incorporate this somehow into my makeup life. So this is a time when I would set my foundation and my concealer. I've already used the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation today. I used a sponge to kind of put that on. I do it mostly in the center of my face and it just sort of work it out to the perimeter, the outer perimeter. And then of course for my concealer, I used my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer in I believe it's light or fair, I'm not sure. Uh, it's the lightest color in the line. I'll make sure I put it up somewhere here. And now I'm gonna set my skin. So I have been um, in the past using my Becca setting powder, but again, I wanted to see if I can get myself to like this. So this is something I bought last year. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination Setting Powder. It's pressed um, and it is very, very white. So if you have medium toned skin, and up, you're really going to see this on your skin. Um, it, it is uh, quite white and I'm very fair and it is very white on my skin. Now it comes with this here and you know, I tried it like this. I think this is why I didn't like it. I used this as, you know, it's intended to do and no, 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 that did not work at all. So this time what I've decided to do, because you know, as we mature, as we age, our pores are a little more pronounced and you can generally see them a little better with even your naked eye. And it's nice to sort of blur that out for the day. And I prefer to do it with uh, these sorts of methods rather than a primer. And that's only because primers, I'm, I'm not too fond of their ingredient deck as a whole. They're usually, there are some that don't have silicone, but for the most part, they are silicone based and that's why they work and feel the way they do on your skin. But I rather not have that sitting on my skin all day. So this in essence, um, you know, are powders that I'm using. And I like the illusion that blurring powders give, such as the Peach Blur in the Too Faced Cosmetics line, and all of those beautiful radiances in the Bare Minerals line. Those are finishing powders, and to me, that they do such a good job. But I put them over the top of a setting powder because they're technically not intended to be used as a setting powder. I am gonna set my skin all over with the Bye Bye Pores Pressed powder and I use my really big fluffy powder brush also by It Cosmetics. Um, it's very soft, it's domed, I really like it. So I'm just gonna really load this up, tap it off, and I'm gonna start putting this all over as my setting powder. Again, it you will see, you will see that it is quite light, but it does give a little bit of illumination, a really pretty finish I have found when I apply it with a powder brush. I would not recommend using that sponge thing that they put in there. Honestly, I don't know what they were thinking there. However, now I really want to warm up my complexion. Um, that gives me a nice finish, but 
I still feel like I need a little more illumination, a little more blurring, and mostly to impart a little more color into my skin at this point. Now, I have talked about this a lot. I bought this, this has lasted me quite some time, and it's called the Peach Blur by Too Faced. I've had this for a long time. Um, it made my favorites list, not last year, but the year before, and look, I still have a ton of it. I use this, I use this a lot. This is my favorite. The radiances so far, those different sorts of finishing powders are my absolute favorite picks for mature skin. Now, don't be afraid because I know this is peachy um, and I do tend to reach for this when I want more of like a warmer underglow than a cooler one. Um, but as fair as I am, I started out doing this just really lightly. I was afraid I was gonna end up looking like a pumpkin or something. And then slowly I'm like, hmm. And I just grabbed my big little, my I mean my kind of dense brush here and just went for it all over and used it as an all over finishing powder. And it is so beautiful. And when I have this on my skin, um, I usually get compliments on it, either from my viewers here or just out and about. Um, it really does give a beautiful blur, sort of glow, warm glow. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just really get it loaded up. And I'm going to put this everywhere. As it's not super ridiculously noticeable or anything, but I think that those are the best, the best little, you know, kind of, products in my opinion are the ones that you can't really notice that it's there but it gives a nice beautiful touch where you do tend to get compliments then and nobody can figure it out but you just look glowy fresh and kind of youthful and so yeah I don't go light with my finishing powders at all I just put them everywhere I like to put them around my neck down here into my chest and just sort of make everything blend and seamless. So using those two together, because it really gives this even a, a more amazing sort of base to apply it upon with this Bye Bye Pores. So I have been loving this combination specifically uh, a lot and yeah, I, I am really super happy that I can now utilize this and it's not just sitting there, you know, brand spanking new. These are not inexpensive. You know, the IT Cosmetics and all, you know, these are not super cheap, inexpensive brands. So it just kills me when I have waited too long to return something because I hardly ever return stuff and it, and I actually can start using it. So just, you know, experiment with stuff maybe that's been sitting in your drawer that, that is still good. Um, and see if you can utilize it in a little bit more of a creative way. It could mean, you know, using a different sort of applicator brush, putting it in a, you know, slightly different areas. I don't know. Okay. So some, something else that I bought some time ago and it just sort of sits there and I see it all the time. And I think the reason why I purchased it is because it's so pretty. It, they, these are gorgeous, but I really wasn't reaching for it. And I'm like, Jill, you need to see if you can use this <laughs> and more regularly. And this is actually a Revolution uh, Pro HD uh, baked kind of highlighter kit sort of thing. Um, they are quite gorgeous and they are highlighters. I'm not huge on highlighters. I tend to just like what I get when I do things like the peach blur or my my radiances I think that gives me a really nice all over natural glow but these are kind of fun and I have found that um, I don't know I'm having more fun with this so these these are my favorites I love holding here in the corner I love spicy sweet and lush so yeah they definitely give a really pretty highlight so i think today and you can sort of like touch and blend and and not just use one color but i just want you know something uh, not over the top 
I think I'm just gonna go in with Lush today. So I'm gonna load this and I'm gonna put it right here. I like it right kind of right in here and then just sort of right up through here and then I like to put it sort of right here. Um, that will kind of lift things up and remember this is an illusion we're creating with our highlighters. Um, you know, the light will bounce off there so things will come out you. So this will give a nice illusion of a nice cheekbone. Um, and then this will come at you and it'll just kind of lift things up. So I just like to kind of go back and forth with it. And I like putting it right sort of above the arch. So right above your natural arch. These are just very subtle little things, but they can be really powerful. So I don't like, be careful that you don't get this in this area. Um, you'll look puffy. It will really accent and highlight any crepiness that you might have in there. So just be careful of that. And then you can put a little bit if you want. You can put a little bit. I'm actually going to use holding for this, but I can put a little bit on my finger and just tap my nose right here. If I do that, I like to tap it sort of right in here too. But yeah, I have been just having fun with these, I decided, you know, I look at it every day because it is pretty and I have it right there. So I'm just going to utilize that. So those are the three sort of things that I have been noticing I am doing all the time now. And I wanted to share that with you. I didn't want to turn this into a full on kind of walkthrough tutorial. I really just wanted to show you my two little, this has sort of become my favorite duo. These two work really nicely together, I have found. This is the Bye Bye Pores It Cosmetics Too Faced Peach Blur. This has always been a favorite, but them together, it's like this perfect union, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to be 55 in the fall, and I have to say that I'll go for anything that does literally kind of blur things out and give me a little back glow. And when I look into my five times mirror, because I use a five times mirror to apply my makeup, I kind of go back and forth between a regular mirror and a five times mirror. You see everything in that five times mirror, you know? And so you're putting on your makeup and you just see everything. This actually looks really nice, pretty dang good, I should say, in a five times mirror. So if it looks okay there, it's gonna look fabulous in real life. So. I highly recommend maybe you check this out. Now, as for skin tone, and as you have the medium and upper, you know, skin tones, those levels that, I don't know, I don't know. This is very, very light, so I'm not sure how that would work, but for more kind of fair to ivory skin tones, I think this is a beautiful, lovely combination, especially with this, if you're wanting to kind of warm up your complexion just a little bit. All right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna let you go for now. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.